This pros versus Joe's best ball draft edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Circus Sports. Circus Sports has given away fourteen million dollars this NFL season. Sign up in Vegas and play from anywhere. Get all the info over at CircusSports.com. We're also brought to you by our Patreon. Score exclusive perks and content available only to our patrons at SportsGamblingPodcast.com/slash/Patreon. Hey, what's up, you degenerate gamblers? This is Bill Burr, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Cram? Dog. Sup, dog. Just sup. Dog. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> I, I, this is a professional event. Let me get in. Ryan, if you're watching, if you're not watching on YouTube, you're missing uh, Ryan putting on his sport coat, getting in professional mode. Also USA, shout out to USA. Also rocking, rocking the USA. I'm rocking the Devonta Smith jersey. Uh, also a great American, and we are doing a pros versus Joes uh, fantasy football best ball draft over on uh, FFPC. If you haven't ever uh, drafted on FFPC, very uh, very cool platform. Of course, Kramer always plays the main event. Uh, they do a bunch of different types of leagues. Use that promo code SGPN over at myffpc.com. Get a free uh, twenty five bucks there on your first deposit. Deposit. So Ryan, it's basically half amateurs, half professionals. You're wearing the jacket. Yeah. I guess in our group, you're the yeah. professional. Yeah. I'm the Joe. Although we, some, some of us, some of we, us have, uh, you we, know. we have to start out with the, oh, uh, is that me? we oh, have to you. start out with the fact that they said odds oh. on this best ball draft. Disrespectful. And the disrespect is crazy. Uh, we are listed. I mean, there are 12 or was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, 12, teams. 12 teams. And we are plus 1400. We are the second longest long shot in this, uh, in this draft. It's uh, it's just really embarrassing, right? Uh, look there, yeah, again, 12 teams. We're 14 to one. There's a Joe who's 15 to one. So we, uh, we will hold, we will stand with you, sir, <laughs> and take down these juggernauts uh, of the like, listen, it's almost like uh, our guy fantasy mojo didn't look into my, my track record. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sure some of these guys have higher caches than me in the main event, but I'm sure it's not all of them. So Ryan, we're here to destroy. Two times top ten. <laughs> so uh, FFPC, their their format, of course, is full point PPR, one and a half points per reception for uh, tight ends. Those are the big difference in scoring. And again, this league is just basically these twelve teams. So we don't have to get as cute with like crazy correlation, long shot stuff. I think. And not that we're going to play conservative, but obviously when you're trying to win like an underdog pest ball mania, you have to be a little bit more aggressive on some of the correlated stuff like at a week 17, yeah. that kind of stuff. I don't pop. think, yeah, I don't think that matters as well, that, much. That's here, the biggest right? thing. It's it's a total points weeks one yes. through 17. There won't be a, any reward for any week over another. So other than just having a nice sweat and having a nice week 17 comeback, cause you correlated everything. I don't think it matters. Not only do I not, it does it not matter, but when you're playing this format, which I've, I've already been preparing for on the beaches of Catalina, <laughs> bare knuckle challenge, where oh, yeah. again, you're, you're, you're facing up against 11 other teams. So you don't necessarily, like in, in a way, projectable volume early in the season does become more valuable because there aren't, there aren't playoff weeks. <laughs> and actually, the draft's getting started. So let's just put the board up. Okay. We are live Kelsey here won. on there the draft, uh, as you would expect. Uh, Travis Kelsey goes number one. We are drafting. That's somewhat shocking, I think. I don't think so. Not in a one and a half point Je PPR. I, I've been doing a bunch of these. Jefferson not going one or two is very shocking. Well, and of course it goes Travis Kelsey, Jamar Chase, Justin no, Jefferson. On the clock. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't turn the music off. Sorry. I, I almost want to keep that on. Ryan, Ryan, we, right, we, we had this discussion. Yeah. We were going to take Christian McCaffrey yeah. here at you, the number you four want me spot. To do it? Yeah. Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Kelsey all went. I feel good with Christian McCaffrey here. Yeah. No, no I, I think we we're probably going to go mostly receiver. I like that. Every time we draft, it says sports gambling podcast plus 1400. Yeah. Selects. We did include it in our, uh, <laughs> in our team name for, uh, you know, just kind of get, but, but yeah, getting back to it, I, run. Uh, the, the other nuance to the FFPC that compared to the DraftKings or underdog, it's just two receivers. It's two running backs, two receivers, a tight end and two flexes. You could play three running uh, tight ends. You can play uh, four wide receivers. You could play four running backs, mm. and so I, I, while I think the theory around wide receiver is still accurate, I do think it allows you to build teams with a little bit more running back strength. Now we did have a discussion about a general strategy. I think step domino one has been knocked over. Be curious to see what comes back to me. I've been I've been looking at a number of these drafts. We're draft three, I believe. There's been two, all over the board. So mm. it's not even worth looking at, in my opinion. All right, I almost feel like we need some uh, some smooth jams. We need like a <laughs> studio band, Sean. Now when when do we? That's what we need. All right, studio ne musician. Next up, add studio band. We got Tyree Kill off the board. Bijan Robinson goes number six. Eckler seven. Cooper Cup all the way down to number eight. Ryan, when do we start? When do we pull the trigger on tight end? You're obviously super familiar with the FFPC style. When so, do you think is a good time? Obviously, Kelsey. A lot of people believe he's in a in a tier in and of himself. Agreed. I I feel good about our ability to snag some late tight ends. Although we're we're battling it out with some fellow sharps here, I, they're probably aware of Chigo Conquo. They're yeah. probably aware of Luke Musgrave. I think if you go and you, so I think what we're gonna have to do is we can either choose to engage in the five to seven round, four to seven round tier with some of the like uh, slightly higher, or we wait and go even deeper down the barrel. I do think it, the format 20 rounds plus the fact that you can get more tight ends in there. I do think drafting four tight ends. Isn't the craziest thing. Obviously Taysom Hills already in the queue. So we'll be ready to pull that trigger when needed. Ooh, are we worried that Jimmy Graham getting signed <laughs> no. takes away some Camp of the body? He's just retiring <laughs> as a saint that I, I read a legitimate report that this isn't about him playing football. It's oh, about okay. him retiring a saint. Uh, Saquon Barkley uh, just got oh. drafted. Ryan, John, imagine, news. imagine. We, we 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 talked about it on the this morning's episode, the Washington Commanders betting preview. Again, we are putting out thirty two NFL <laughs> team betting previews, but uh, no yeah, deal. Saquon Barkley goes uh, ten overall here. Who are we hoping gets back to us here, Ryan, on this snake style draft? Uh, I I I mean. I know a lot of the people who are drafting in here are also uh, just CD having... Lamb goes. Wow, that is shocking to me. CD Lamb not a first. Andrew round Rob, if you're listening, can you be watching the other streams and give us any intel if possible? <laughs> uh, anyone else? That is the perfect job working. For I mean, we we I know there's at least two other places streaming this, uh, and then the FFPC is also streaming yeah. it with live commentary. Uh, look, I, I I think the the hope at this point, personally, is that we're able to fire on one of the not not like top of the barrel receivers, but one of those second tier guys. Maybe look, this is the FFPC. We do tend to see a slightly more boomer approach, mm. and you have the fact that tight ends get pushed up a little bit with the point and a half. So the combination of the two, could we could we hope for one of the top tier elite receivers to slip? Yeah, I mean, I'm seeing guys come off the board who I'm not. Garrett yeah. Wilson uh, just off the board, Ryan. This is, I think, where he goes now, and yeah. I, I think uh, this is. I mean, and, and this is like that's the draft posi position of someone who is playing the like. They're, they're, I guarantee Team Twelve, Ben Gret, shout out a friend of uh, program, Dalton Cates, uh, doing some work with him over on the betting side, but he he's going to draft receivers only. It's just like th some of these guys are pro programmatically predictable with this. <laughs> and Garrett Wilson and Mamra St. Brown, they're young, they're athletic, they pre project a high volume, elite, elite talent. AJ Brown just went off the board, so RIP oh, that dream. Of imagine pairing CD Lamb and AJ Brown. That is a disgusting act. I mean, AJ Brown fits on any team. And Howard Bender. 
uh, from. Uh, uh, well, he's a boomer. Yeah, he's, he's an older old school guy. guy. Shout out to a fellow old guy. Old he guy. went Saquon Barkley and Nick Chubb. This is full point PPR. Saquon and Nick Chubb, not the they most are saying, active pass catch. They are saying Nick Chubb going uh, going to be more involved in the passing game. But also, year, you know, Nick unquote. Chubb is a beast. It'll be interesting to see where he pivots here, Ryan. I feel like we probably got to go receiver, right? Uh, you know, I think that's that's the uh, optimal for us as uh, as a receiver that we like gets back to us. I think we wait a couple picks, then we can start talking about who Andrew with some intel saying that uh, Team Twelve is looking to go wide receiver heavy with a a top. I think a a, a, tight, a end. tight end early. Yeah, I mean, I, I get I get that angle. I will say, Jalen Hurts could be available, Ryan. I I don't think it's I don't think. I, I, my take on it is that we take three quarterbacks. So I'm, I'm probably a little bit less interested in the elite mm. quarterback, but l- let's see how it goes. Devonte Adams off the board. I mean, that's a nice start to me. My favorite start so far is team nine, Stefan Diggs, Devonte Adams. Yes. Yeah, two guys who are going to get a shit ton of volume, and Devonte Adams in a dome with a with Jimmy G oh. with no restrictions. Oh. Oh. I did tweet oh. out that uh, you know I did the handshake emoji He's of getting loose of Josh McDaniels and Katie Mox shaking hands, going <laughs> giving Jimmy G the green light. Jimmy G apparently the foot thing not something to be not worried important. about. No, nah, I think it's important to me, Ryan. You know what else is important? Circus Sports and their Circa oh, wow. Millions contest back and better than ever. $14 million guaranteed prizes up for grabs. Sign up in Vegas, play from anywhere. We will be out in Las Vegas hanging out at the beautiful Circus Sports, the Mecca, August 24th to 26th. Come out, say hi, sign up for the contest. Again, get your chance at winning millions and millions of dollars. Circa millions, of course. So many ways to win: quarterly prizes, booby prizes, uh, so much fun. And Circus Survivor, you know how to play Circus Survivor. CircusSports.com for you all the next. details. What? Where's this sound coming from? <laughs> I I can't even get rid of it. I don't so know. Where it's it's, coming it's from. on the. Uh, I think it's on the tab, Ryan. Yeah, I turned it off. Mm. I, I maybe oh, maybe there's a another one on the thing I'm sharing. So after the, the read, Mark Andrews went. Jonathan Taylor, Jalen Waddle. So who who are now, we? Now you are on the clock. Chris Olave just went. Oh, I, I mean, I know we have Jalen Hurts in our crosshairs, Ryan. I think the I think we go Devonta Smith and we play Ooh. a little. That that's where, that's where I am wearing the I, Devonta Smith jersey. I would jersey. go. I would go to. I'll I'll let you look. Now I'm going to be asking for a choice later on, maybe a couple, but <laughs> let's Devonta, go Devonta, Smith. Devonta Smith or T Higgins would be my choice. Uh, let's go Devonta Smith. Cause there's a chance we get the, uh, we get the stack. Yeah. Which I, I don't Which think you do we need, think but you, oh, let's just go Devonta Smith. Anyway. I mean, come on, Christian McCaffrey, Devonta Smith. What a start by the long shot sports gambling podcast. Well, and again, I think you are wise to wear the Jersey. Mm. I, t- I, I had a time. Mojo. I, I did tell you it was the one I thought that he would be in the range that we would be drafting him. I, I don't, I don't mind having a little rooting interest for you. Mm. Positive mojo on the situation. <laughs> now who are we open that we get back in round three. Well, I, I, I'd say the receiver run that happened on the backside. We is, might be able to get Devonta Smith and T Higgins. And for me, that's a great start. Yeah, I, I wonder if that's possible. I I think we're gonna need to. I think team. I think team two probably gonna take Higgins based on. But yeah, team one's gonna go. Tony Cal- Pollard just went. Team one's gonna definitely take Mahomes. I I hate how this team's shaping up already. I what know, team? I, I just know what's gonna happen. I know what we're about to be faced with. <laughs> Derek Henry just. I goes. know what we're about to be faced with, and I. Listen, I'll, uh, I'll, we'll have to, do we go, do we, uh, when are we pulling the trigger on uh, tight end? Is it worth it to take a TJ Hawkinson this high, a, a George Kittle? Well, I'm not a fan of, uh, well, I mean, I, I do, I do think Hawkinson in this, like ha- to me, Hawkinson can very easily get the volume to make him worth a first rounder and compete with a lot of the receivers. Cause you think about it, if it's a volume based thing, Hawkinson getting 50% more for each one of those catches than the, the uh, receivers. He de- I mean, think about some of those games he had down the stretch. We're talking 18 yeah. targets. We're talking massive, massive workload. Oh, he's a beast. He's a beast. What's the penalty in, in one of these leagues? What's the penalty for running the clock out? Oh, I, what do I you mean, mean? Like, why are you running the clock out? You got select, <laughs> you are, you got the honor to be in here and you're running the, it's the second round. T Higgins goes. Okay. 
Fuck. As Sorry, predicted excuse, by you, Ryan. Excuse my language. Boston Capper checking in, saying, "Let's go, boys! Time to stuff them in the locker." No. Higgins. Right. So uh, yeah, team one is Higgins and Kelsey. Team two, Jamar Chase, Derrick Henry. Uh, team three, Justin Jefferson, Tony Pollard. We have Christian McCaffrey, Devonta Smith. Where are we at with uh, Josh Jacobs? Do we? He's kind of. I'm. I'm kind of in the boat where it's. It's. A, he's almost off the board for me. Yeah, I don't know, man. Especially a full point PPR. I mean, Any, these guys are, eventually will play, but what if he misses a couple games? I feel like we can do better. I mean, imagine if we had a guy who you know, setting is just basically good for one rushing touchdown per game and plays a tougher schedule and Ramondre, has a higher, off the board. higher passing oh. upside this season. Imagine a guy who's who is truly one of the rarest breeds. Imagine a guy who went toe to toe with Patrick Mahomes coming up just short. Imagine a guy who delivered the octopus to us, Ryan. He 18 did, to did, 1 in the Super Bowl. The octopus. Highlight of that day. All right, what all right, so we're we're two picks away. Okay. Uh what are we thinking? I mean, I know what I'm so, thinking. So Kelsey's <laughs> owner passed up on Mahomes. That feels not and smart. just um, Patrick Mahomes just went. That feels not smart. I mean, I I don't think you need to correlate like bringbacks and stuff, but you still want to stack. I don't think you. To your point, like I don't think you need to go out of your way, especially with like your second quarterback, that kind of stuff, uh, where you get real cute. I mean, this is a twenty round draft, so. Yeah, maybe maybe in like those later rounds, but I, I don't. I feel like in best ball mania where you're trying to create those like c- crazy outlier scenarios, you really need to correlate this not as much, but I, well, correlating and stacking like that's th- Jalen Hurts <laughs> drops to you in the third round, and you have right. Devonta Smith. Whatever. I need you to pull the trigger, Ryan. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna pull the trigger. Now right. you are on the clock, and you guys we are, getting, are on you're, the you're clock. You're getting that the whole time. Jalen hurts. Jalen hurts. Jalen hurts. Fuck. If the uh, the I might, and we selected Jalen hurts. Might, I might scrub that from the podcast audio. So apologies <laughs> if you're not getting the uh, place your bets. Please. Fucking go, baby. Well, you we're gonna there's gonna be conversations to had be had later. All right, we can put Dan Jones on. The no, team, no, no, no. Right? We don't need to say his name out loud. Okay. <laughs> uh, checking in with the YouTube chat. Of course, smash that subscribe button. Come hang out. Football is back. Craig, check it in the YouTube chat saying, heck yeah, caught a stream. Miss you guys. So ready for the season. Hell yeah, let's go. Uh, Craig, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, great to g- get you back. Checking out the 32 NFL team previews and hopping in, joining our Patreon, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Patreon. Uh, tons of cool stuff with there. One Discord channel just for the Patreons. Two bonus uncensored sports game and podcast stories. Uh, monthly show Kramer and I will be doing ad free, uncensored, just us shooting the shit, uh, sharing some great stories. I got the Lenny Dyke show voicemails ready to go. Kramer being hypnotized. Uh, different podcasts from our archive. And you get the spreadsheets, all our picks spreadsheets, and the free contest. We're going to be running a weekly free contest uh, for those in the Patreon. You know, once a lot football, of people have asked already, what kind of contest? Uh, probably DFS, pick them, whatever's like a fun weekly contest. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I Trust mean, I, us. Have we led you astray? DFS seems the simplest, but again, if you're in the if you're Patreon and you want to run a specific contest, hit me up yeah. in the Patreon channel. Oh yeah, you can you can muse it into presented by what do you your uh, name? Ask us anything for the uh, SGP Stories oh, uh, yeah. podcast. So get in there, support the war on corporate gambling. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Patreon. After we drafted Jalen Hurts, Jameer Gibbs, TJ Hawkinson, DK Metcalf, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, all off the board. All right, so Lamar, look at this. So uh, Kelsey guy did not go Mahomes, but obviously we stacked. Smith with Hertz, Mark Andrews stacked with Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen with Steph Diggs. So formidable stacks in this, mm. in this league, people, stacks on sacks. people are being allowed to stack on stack. And honestly, I think the one thing that team 12 uh, back to team 12, I like that. Start same with team nine team 12 start. You, you can stack that cheaply later with Aaron Rodgers and, and Jared Goff. So yeah, the guy who has Garrett Wilson, I'm on Ross St. Brown, uh, Deandre Hopkins just went on the board. 
Uh, team Ooh, of, team eleven. That's a boomer. I mean, uh, <laughs> team ten is def. All right, way ahead in the in the the boomer. I know Howard, also a fellow jam band fan. So shout out to. Uh, I I think he told me oh, he was in a league like with some of the DJs from Jam on the uh, Serious <laughs> Jam Band channel. Oh, that's sick. Uh, team eleven. They have Ceedee Lamb, AJ Brown. What do you think they do here? Do they just keep loading yeah. up on receivers, right? Yeah, they're gonna. Unless they, I mean, I guess there's, yeah. See, there you go, Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley. I, I think just philosophically, some people feel you have to do this, mm. and I think a lot of times when you draft your team, again, anecdotally in the FFPC, my some of my better best ball teams, some of my better main event teams have not been super receiver heavy. It still involves you hitting some mid round receivers, and I think. You know, again, we were discussing this before, but I think there's plenty of receivers we like in rounds four through eight. Yeah, and I think there's there's a nice crop of running backs we like. I just need that. you to guide me on when we pull the trigger on tight end. I mean, I mean, you see what's happening, right? You yeah. have, I would say, this is Hawkinson maybe goes a couple picks late in this draft, but you're you're seeing an accurate representation now. The real brunt of the tight end class is going to come off the board. Probably in the next couple rounds, you're gonna have Kittle Pitts, Goddard, Ingram. Like I've seen Ingram go much higher than the ADP list mm. list him at. Um, I, I'd say like Ingram probably gonna go as high as the fifth round, and so basically everyone's gonna go. Everyone above him is gonna like so Waller, Goddard, Pitts, Kittle. Will pro- they'll probably all go off the the board in the next two rounds. Keenan Allen, he's off the board. Will um, stealing bananas. Get, grab a fourth receiver here and start yeah. out with fourth rec- yeah, I, four yeah, receivers. Yeah. 100. Maybe Do, a tight end because they understand that the, that that crop of tight ends we just talked about probably not coming back to them. Who's a, who's a who's a tight end on our list here, Ryan? I, got, I mean, yeah, I guess you can say we should stack God, Goddard. I I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's the worst thing to invest in the Eagles' offense based on last year. They do have a new OC, but. I, I don't, I also don't know if we, we need to, with the fact that we already invested in the quarterback, we have plenty of tight ends. We like later, yeah. we can just take an, a, take a volume approach. I'm thinking there of, you go, I'm, Debo. So yeah, I'm thinking of like going, you know, like four tight ends all late. Um, I, I think we play the board, but I, I certainly think, I think taking a tight end, like we should about like this next turn it's two pass catchers. One can be a tight end, I think. In okay, the, but I think I think it is it is probably pa- unless like we're <clears throat> dealing with a running back situation that like at some point like what's jo- what's the Josh Jacobs price? Yeah, I mean it Josh, does seem if- like he's going to sit out. <laughs> but also now Eckler took incentives and, and and a little bit more. Barkley now has taken incentives and a little bit more. Could that just be what Josh Jacobs does? He flew out of town. He's such a drama queen move. He got on a plane at 6 a.m. in the morning. Did you read yeah, that? I mean, why? Why? If you're leaving town, like stomping your feet, why are you leaving at 6 a.m.? Well, how do you know he's not just? Why not just take a vacation? You're not. You're not going to camp. Well, he's working out elsewhere. That's yeah. why. I'm sure he's down in like Tuscaloosa. Uh, Justin Herbert goes. Najee mm. Harris goes. So Howard uh, Bender with an old just school style team here. Boomer. Smash mouth. He's gonna be running Boom. the uh, the wing T here. <laughs> Literally established in the run. What? Najee Harris, Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley, DeAndre Hopkins, and Josh Jacobs goes Ryan. So we don't have to make that decision. That's good. Fourth round's probably pretty good for that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you know, again, with with the idea that it doesn't the bring back probably not as important because week seventeen is not that important. There, there's definitely a large log jam of running backs looking at us, but I also, I like some of these receivers that we're going to be able to get. And I like some of the, I mean, the tight ends also, I, I don't, I, again, I don't exactly it know. It's interesting ADP. though. The, I know you want to go pass catcher here these next couple of rounds, but oh no, I, I, I'm Is looking the boomer at the, in you getting happy. No, I'm just saying, I'm looking at the receivers. I don't know. I kind of like the running backs more at Ooh. this ADP. We'll see where interesting who gets taken here in yeah, these next couple. The chat should tell us who they like. Yeah, throw out who you're uh, who you're making a case for for us here in the fourth round. 
Uh, Boston Capper, of course, making a case for Hunter Henry might catch thirty balls in the Re- touchdown. Really? Oh, is that's Hunter that's Hen- sarcastic. Oh, okay, probably. you're being you're being funny. I think it's a funny, <laughs> funny man. All right, uh, I'm just pulling up the other. Mari Cooper goes. Joe Mixon goes. Yeah, so I'd say this is the range for the tight ends: Waller, Pitts, Goddard. If that's the angle we want to go, hmm. Aaron Jones, Travis Etienne, Kenneth Walker. Kenneth Walker is interesting in best ball, but not a full point PPR guy. Christian Watson, I think, is just kind of high here. Am I crazy? Uh, this is about where he's going. So who who would you it, looking at the board? Who are you on here? Uh, Jerry Judy just went. Joe Burrow just went. Uh, receiver. I, don't know, I hate this round. Oh, really? Then I then if you don't love any of the receivers or the running backs, then I'm I, I say we go tight end. Dallas Goddard, then, huh? I mean, uh, I don't want to take George Kittle. No. I are we are we worried we'd be investing too much in the Eagles? No. And now I'm gonna, and you I'm, are on the clock. And I'm not ta- in best ball, right? Taking Waller on the way back. All right. 15 seconds left. What are we going to do, Ryan? I'm taking Goddard. Okay. And then I'm going to take Waller on the way back. Hopefully. Ooh. Double tight end, 12 personnel. This will add uh, extra drama to our mustache bet. <laughs> this Jake, is a nice hedge for the mustache. Jake uh, saying he likes Drake London. Yeah. I, I don't know. I was watching some Drake London highlights. Maybe I was a little hard on him. I'm just out on, um, out on the quarterback. I mean, We'll see, but uh, yeah, that to me is a huge deal. What pick are we on right now? Thirty-six plus nine, so forty. Yeah, I mean, we, maybe we went a little like a couple picks over ADP, but loading up on the Eagles' offense, you could do worse. Travis Etienne goes. I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind a receiver. I'm trying to think who's who's. No, I'm w- I'm with you. I I I would be fine. Like DJ Moore, so many question marks at the quarterback uh, position there to take him this high. I would rather go Darnell Mooney. Uh, Christian Watson is just drafted. Terry McLaurin, that's kind of interesting. McLaurin, London, Kirk. I don't. I, well, I, I don't understand why Ridley is so much. His ADP is so much higher than Christian Kirk. Like Christian Kirk, they had a good season. He's a, he's a Ridley's, part of the offense because Ridley's an elite, an elite talent. It's true. But I, I don't know everything. If I, everything I've read says he looks back. I, I know he missed time. Like we forgot about the sadness time before the gambling yeah. time. But he, Chris Godwin's uh, here. Mike Williams. I don't know. This is interesting. Kenneth Walker, Aaron Jones now go Ryan. But I, again, Darren Waller. No, I don't hate it. I think there's plenty of guys we like here. And again, if you look at the wide receiver crop. I do think it's like when you when you look deeper, you can kind of go down twelve guys, and you can still find guys you like, right? Like whether it's we we both like Mike Evans, kind of a boomer take, but he'll be around. Hollywood mm. Brown, we've talked about. Mike Williams goes late in these FFPC drafts for some reason. And again, I'm we're, remember we're calling them pass catchers for a reason. You only need two receivers. <laughs> There's only two wide receiver spots. Christian Kirk off the board. This is interesting, Ryan. I know you want your Darren Waller. Kyle Pitts still available though. <laughs> People just love Kyle Pitts. It's pretty great. No, I, I this is uh, this is probably being spoken about. Kyle Pitts still on the board? <laughs> no, I mean again, I think uh you are up now. next. You are on the oh clock. Why? Why are two pieces of volume coming through? Oh no! That's cold. Oh no! So there's Ryan. There's a mole. Someone selected Darren Waller. Thank God. All right, pivot. What do we do? Drake London. Drake London. Or DJ Moore. Hmm. I. You know I like. Jake likes Drake London. Who do you like more, Ryan? Because I'm kind of eh, on both of them. Uh, then I, I mean, and it, you could talk me into Terry McLaurin over both. Of them. Oh, then yeah, definitely. I liked. I thought you just said you didn't want to take him. Let's take Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Fire. 
Scary Terry. Okay, we're putting together a nice little team here. That that Darren Waller pick. Mm. Uh, who knows? Maybe we we got to talk to Andrew Rob. Make sure he's not wearing a wire. Someone you never someone know. We could have information. A, could have a Benedict amongst us. And now the tight end run really goes. Kyle Pitts, George Kittle. Uh, right after we selected Terry McLaurin. I mean, again, I don't, I don't hate. Like, it's been established. You should be stacking your tight ends. You should, but I do think we attack another tight end. Like next go around, I'm, I'm okay if we go tight end receiver again. Okay. Now, I mean, let's talk about some of the. T- I, I like Njoku. No, hundred percent. That's it. That, I love. Chig. I'm putting him in the queue already. I love Chig though, Ryan. Yeah, we can get both of them. All right. I don't hate that. Chig will be around in, in like Chig. Chig will be around later, later. Yeah. Although I feel like he is becoming a fantasy darling. Alexander Madison off the board. There are one, two, three, four, five teams that haven't selected a quarterback yet. They probably won't now, right? What's the what's the rush? Or I no, mean, six. Sorry, six have selected a quarterback, six haven't. Any receipt like I also think we should I'm gonna just I mean also I like Dolchich. I, I know we don't probably have to get him soon, but God damn it's hot in here. Just it is. Him. So it's because you're wearing a suit coat, Ryan. No, I'm just irritated that we didn't get Darren Waller. Sorry. I was complicit and then I <laughs> fucking Deontay Johnson goes. I mean we gotta put uh gotta put him up. Yeah. yeah, throw him in. Oh, I got him in my queue already. I know what you're talking about. We have a group queue, Ryan. You can see it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Not every platform works like that. Oh, it's FFPC. I mean, that, listen, I've been using it for a long time. It's excellent. Boomer, though. Like, look at it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful in a boomer way. Not like this fancy underdog bullshit. <laughs> put Damian. This half Pe- point PPR. Like- I put Damian Pearson there just for oh, just for safekeeping. No, and and George Pickens, obviously. Okay. Breakout year. Godwin, I, I kind of also like. Drake London goes. It's not horrible. All right. What are we doing? All right. So we got, we actually have like a balanced oh. team, which I don't hate. Look at this. Especially uh, in a league like this. The boomer team just continues to get more boomer. <laughs> Howard Bender's going heavy uh, running backs. Four running backs Miles Sanders, Najee Harris, Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley, and then DeAndre Hopkins. Did, did anyone tell him it's full point PPR? Did, all right. What is Feel te- bad if he doesn't know the score. D- right? Does team 11 or 12 take a running back here? Ooh. I'm going to say neither no. of them have a running back. No. All no. receivers, one quarterback. One quarterback between them. Actually, I think I can put. Uh, can I put Chad on the screen? Oh yeah, here you go. Uh, ben- and- Benedict Antold screaming for Chig Ryan. See that Andrew? I'm gonna I throw it up. A sc- yeah, surprised I allowed three Eagles. I am too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even pressure you. You just know. I mean, at the end of the day, Ryan is in a, hindsight. Maybe we go value Waller on. first. I do think that was the mistake. Really. I mean, Waller is my number two tight end. Oh, I'm sure they're drafting using your ranking. Well, I'm just I'm I'm saying we should have taken them. That's the part I shouldn't have been complicit. But the stack does. But we're done stacking Eagles now. Yeah, no, that's plenty. Miles Sanders, David Montgomery, go. All right, Ryan, I'm going to take a quick break because I'm going to be hopping on another one of these oh, wow. uh, streams. All by myself. Yes. All right. Hold down well, the floor. Let me let me take my jacket off. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Don't don't draft any bullshit while I'm gone. Oh yeah, don't worry. It can't get any worse. All right, chat, you're up with me. This is gonna be amazing podcasting. I all right. I don't know where we left off on the on the draft, so I'll recap. Since Waller got robbed from us, McLaurin, then Pitts and Kittle. Madison, Deontay Johnson, Drake London, uh, Team 10, fourth running back, Miles Sanders, 11th, David Montgomery, and Team 12 goes with their first running back, J.K. Dobbins. A little bit surprising. Uh, uh, no, Sean is actually it, it, dialing into it. He's he's cheating on the, the show right now. Calling into the FFPC's YouTube channel is like covering the event as if as if this is a sporting event and they're commentating on our picks and telling us where we did it right and where we did it wrong. So 
uh, yeah, you can check that out. Maybe we can get some Intel. We can, we can get a, a network. I know the, the ship chasing guys are also on stream right now. Team 12. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Like right, right now, kind of looking at the board surveying, I, I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Team 12. I'm going to say that's a little, little bit of a desperation move going Justin Fields here. Now, so looking at the board, a surprising ha to to see where the quarterbacks went. I think a little bit. So, feel better about the Hertz thing. Got got on the the front end of that. Uh, three, four teams don't have five teams don't have a quarterback, and in, including the Boomer team that's probably going to take one. Now, can I show you what's available? How can we do this? Yeah, we can do this. Let's. Uh, all right, so we had Justin Fields going uh, first pick in the sixth round by Team Twelve, then Cam Akers, Team Eleven, Brandon Ayuk, second receiver for Team Ten. Oh, this is a big ask. Uh, let's see, we'll go go back here. You guys can see that Sean's actually not here. Let me see. All right, yeah. Sorry, guys. Just trying to turn. I'm. I was trying to get the audio off. Not able to do it. Yeah, I, I'll. Uh, I'll figure out a way to get the available on the screen. It's not super easy though. Let's see. Holy shit! One, the number one thing that they got to change about FFPC is that's that god awful uh, sound effect. When you enter the room, all right. So coming back around, we're now Ayuk. Evan Ingram goes uh, four picks away. Honestly, I'm I'm kind of kind of thinking we're gonna go we're gonna go wide receiver again. I am struggling. Yeah, I got a lot. I got, I'm pushing a lot of buttons right here. Apologies. All right. So uh, again, it, it does seem like quarterback is necessary or wide receiver is necessary here. DJ Moore, the slide ends, uh, he gets taken. You know, I think if you look a lot, if you look just like at raw rankings here, I, I do think there are some, still some receivers who, who project to be alphas, but, but to Sean's point, there are also some running backs. You are up next. Still got the sound. So Hollywood Brown, one of the wide receivers, I definitely was was intrigued by here. Um, all right, just one step closer to getting this on the screen. Uh, oh, now look at this! You are on the clock. Sh Sean coming from the other channel uh, in the chat, trying to suggest we should take Fryermuth. I, I, you know. As much as I was saying, I think it's got to be a receiver. Boy, ah, we we are both huge Damian Pierce guys, and th this is the right time to take him. So we'll roll the dice here. I love him in that new offense in Houston. It sets up a potential stack. What are we doing? Damian Pierce went. Uh, sets up a nice stack later with with Houston, and uh, maybe a maybe a late C.J. Stroud, a late Tank Dell. Something like that, and then, but I I do think now I I kind of have to put put my focus on receiver. I think there's some vets here. Uh, obviously, Kadarius Tony continues to slip down the board, uh, in with the news of him of his demise. Let's see. I think. Uh, let's see. I can show you guys like the next handful of guys available. So we'll just. And I'll sort it by the ADP here on uh, on FFPC. All right, Mike Williams goes. I, I have like he definitely is falling in specifically on on the FFPC format. And I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, I I like him. Obviously, I like Keenan Allen more. But Keenan Allen going round three. Mike Williams going round six. That does feel like. You know, maybe we look back at this after the fact and we're a little disappointed that we uh we screwed that one up. 
but yeah, I'll, I'll still take the Damian. I, I like the Damian Pierce case this year. I, I think him going in the sixth round is, is it does not make sense to me. That's what I'll say. All right. What do we got? What do we got going on? All right. I'm just getting this uh, next player up. All right. So after uh, Mike Williams, Deandre Swift goes, I mean, I, I don't hate, I, I actually do hate Deandre Swift. I, I don't, I don't understand why he's becoming the popular, the popular guy to take in Philly all of a sudden. I mean, he, he has like objectively sucked everywhere. He has, he hasn't gotten the job done anywhere. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm the, um, maybe I'm crazy. All right, here we go. Uh, so after Deandre Swift, Tyler Lockett was 100% looking at that, uh, at that. I mean, he, he is very, very intriguing. I, I don't know if I'm a, a JSN guy. I, I mean, I like JSN. I don't know if he's going to beat out Tyler Lockett. That would be how I would articulate that one. All right, let's see. <clears throat> but again, I think, I think it's still probably a receiver going here. Yeah, this isn't going to look good guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not going to show you guys who, how to, or who's available yet. It just doesn't look good. All right. So there goes JSN virtually a couple picks later, which is pretty interesting. Um, Deshaun Watson after that, I, so now we're back to that, 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 you know, Michael Pittman, I don't love the situation. Uh, Mike Evans, potentially a boomer, a, a, a bit, bit of a boomer take, but honestly, we were discussing it earlier and now you are on the clock. Thank you. We are on the clock. I, I don't know. If it's too early, you know what? I think we just got to take him. He's one of our guys. I'm pretty, pretty consistently willing to take him here at this point. Give me Mike Evans. 15 seconds left. I kind of don't mind investing in this here. I know he's a bit older, but again, the, the, just the consistency. We'll see if Sean likes that pick, but we do need to start stacking receivers. And now, since we got a lot of time, I will work on getting this, uh, this up on the board for you guys. Yeah. So, I mean, I get, oh, wait, let's see. Swift just runs out of bounds. All right. So what I feel like you guys who throw it in the chat, who's your favorite and apologies for the podcast, but you can also throw it in the chat. Who's your favorite team so far? Um, I, I I'm like, just looking at these teams, I, I see a lot of teams with a lot of green and I'm, I just don't, I don't think you need four running backs in the first six rounds. Don't think, I think we'll probably look back and say that wasn't the best way to, to get the draft done this year. All right. So we're going to shrink this guy. Oh man. All right. So after we took Mike Evans, you got James Conner, Javante Williams. Don't love either of those picks. Obviously they, they both have tremendously high ceilings if they stay healthy and they get all the volume. Michael Pittman after that kind of a team in a similar boat to our team with the exception of the fact that they, that it's all running backs. It's not a quarterback. It's not a tight end. So just looking for that wide receiver three. And honestly, I don't, I don't think you're too upset if your wide receiver three is 
Mike Evans and Michael Pittman probably need to keep drafting it to, to make sure you have some nice depth through the uh, position. But again, the, it, you do only have to start two. And so worth noting, right? Like that, that is, that is going to make the, the wide receiver position slightly less valuable, but you know, again, I understand the logic of why you're taking the early receivers there. You're just not going to get that replaceable workload later from the, the receiver crop down there. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put this other thing on the screen. Don't hate 11. 11's interesting. Uh, I mean, the running the running back strategy isn't horrible. You went with three alpha receivers. I, I don't know if they're necessarily my favorite three alpha receivers, but they're not, there's certainly potentially a bunch of workload in the first two. I think Ridley's interesting. There's, there is a lot of question there. And I think some people are just saying, oh yeah, he's, he's back. He's all the way back. And I, I don't know if that's, that's locked up. All right. So I will now be able to, all right. I can now put up on the screen. All right, you lose the board, but I can show you who's available. So yeah, I mean, lo looking at the who's available, obviously a lot of guys with the Q next to their name uh, being driven down the board for real or not real reasons. Certainly, the the Addison like uh, he was rushing to get his his dog or whatever to the vet. Okay. Maybe that that's a different kind of a uh, drop that, that maybe we'll get some value there. But I mean, Tony, who knows? He may never play football again. Uh, I think, you know, you listen to the tone of some of his teammates. They sounded concerned. Dalvin cook. We'll see where he lands. Uh, I, I will say as someone who, you know, saw some of the stuff about Brees hall pup list, Brees hall is moving around. Does look fine. Pacheco, you know, I, I don't know if that's, if that's the most interesting play, but um, he is the, he is the starting running back on the Chiefs. So at some point he becomes a value. All right. So after Michael Pittman went, we had Pat Fryermuth, Trevor Lawrence, nice little stack there with uh, Evan Ingram, uh, Brandon Cooks, David and Joku. All right. So we we sh we probably needed to take him there. Unfortunately, not going to get him. That that's all right. I, I not the not the worst thing. We still have some tight ends we like. And then okay, here comes Jihad Dotson. Again, team 12 looking to to get all the receivers and figure out running back later. And yeah, I mean, you know, again, if we can uh we'll flip back over to the like if we just specifically if we sort it by receiver here, I mean, there are still guys that I like in this range that, you know, this round, if they're there, we're probably going, I mean, highlight, you know, putting a guy like George Pickens, even Addison, Gabe Davis. I don't hate. Uh, I just certainly like once we get down to the Ravens uh, group and the, the Michael Thomas, Cortland Sutton, I just, that's where to me, the trust goes. So I, I really have been trying to get four guys before that tier hits and you know, we're getting close here, but I, I do think if, if we, it comes to us and George Pickens is on the board, that's probably going to be the pick. Andrew Rob, uh, giving me some stock up emojis for, uh, Zay flowers. Uh, he, he certainly is in the range. I don't, I think maybe we can wait around, uh, James cook. Interesting pick there by team 12. I'm back Kramer. I'm All back. Right. It, it, I will say a little rough. But while while you were gone, why was it rough? Oh, you got just, the chat here. Yeah, while while you were gone, I did make it so we can put the uh, who's available. Oh, board. okay, great. Uh, Dick Olson was actually in the other chat. Really? Line. Yes, <laughs> and he was. Uh, I was talking to them about the Goddard versus Waller yeah. uh, mustache bet, and oh, wow. uh, uh -oh. what did he? And he's say? like, I can't wait to see Kramer with that mustache. <laughs> so he's on. He's on Team Goddard. Nice. And I was walking them through that they were asking, Hey, were you planning on doing a, a mega? A sack and I said no. And honestly, it kind of just worked out that way. We got Devonta Smith, Jalen Hurts. You can't pass him up with the rushing upside. And then, what was their take? 
Uh, yeah, I mean they, they clowned you a little bit. No, no, oh, no. Okay, I, 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 makes I, us look sharp. Yes, okay. super sharp. Play the sword sound effect. <laughs> so I, we were we were oh wow and and just like that Andrew Rob or Benedict Dantel bringing up uh, Gibson as playing more receiver and then bang uh, no, tame nine drafts him. Uh, Addison uh, was so since since uh, Dotson to team twelve we have James Cook to twelve to Addison to eleven Tua to team ten and Antonio Gibson team nine we are now in the eighth round. Seeing some people uh, liking Team Eight, it's a Cooper Cup, Mark Andrews, Lamar Jackson, Joe Mixon, Deontay Johnson, DJ Moore, Pat Fryermuth team, little little double stealers there could look for him to get Pickett later. I wonder if your Team Eight, do you take George Pickens right here? I hope not, because uh, adding Pickens to this team would be pretty exciting for me personally, Ryan. Uh, they 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 did um they were okay. they were kind of pointing out how we took um, Mike Evans, and then he uh, they were asking like Mike Evans versus Michael Pittman. What what um they asked oh. me who would have more receptions or at least what the over under was. I looked it up because I, I didn't have an idea what Pittman's would be off the top Probably of my higher. head. What did you what would you make? You are up next. I I oh there goes George Pick. I would 100% take um it does to me it doesn't matter the catches cuz I I just don't think Pittman's going to score that much. Okay. But like what do you think their totals are? Cuz I just looked Are they up similar? No. I would, I would you say are on the clock. Mike Evans in the 60s uh Pittman in the 70s. Pittman 75 and a half, Mike Evans 65 and a half. Yeah. But Mike Evans receiving yards. It's yeah, just year after year after year he puts up a, a thousand yards, even when it's a shitty quarterback situation. Right, Ryan, what are we clock. doing here? What are we doing? Uh, Dalvin Cook? No. Okay. How much time do we have here? Forty-one seconds. So I, I think uh, you know we're at the tail. I I think at this point, Darius Tony. No, it's best ball. I do <laughs> think Gabe Davis is very interesting. Ooh. Uh, he, at this late in the draft. Um, I think everyone got burned by the Gabe Davis hype. This might him. be the post hype sleeper let's th- you Gabe Davis. Take him? Yeah, fire. I mean, I, I guess I think you share my concerns about uh, Josh Allen and the Bills offense overall. Oh, yeah, but here that's but fine. We have this to, late. I we, think we're good. To me, like Mike Evans, get we need guys that can have nice games to fill out as a third receiver if needed. That that's the strategy at this point. Okay, so uh, while you were gone, we did miss out on uh, Prior Muthan and Joku. Oh, okay. Uh, it, it it would probably we'd have to go. Uh, oh my God, Ryan! Chick, chick, well, chick. Well, let's see who comes back because <laughs> who else is high on your list? Well, I I think because I mean we, also we, we could. I don't know how long we could wait, but Dolchich, I do like his role there in Denver. I like Chick too, but we have. We have Damian Pierce, and we could stack him with Dalton Schultz. Again, a guy that is going to get a lot of catches. They might not be explosive, but one and a half points per catch, Sean. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not as high on Dalton Schultz. <sighs> might might get, have to pull get, a beat. I mean, we we have the Houston. I get, I get the full point PPR. I'm sp- I'm specifically pointing out that we have another Houston player. We pencil in Stroud later. That's stack number two. Mm. Okay. That, or, that's, that's where we're going. Or Chig. Then we get is Traylon Burks off the board? Yeah, he already won. Okay. Uh, Chig and Ryan Tannehill. That's also fine. Anthony Richardson still available? No, I mean, had we taken Pittman. That's then part of the go. part of the reason I didn't take So Pittman. after we take Gabe Davis, Elijah Moore goes, Isaiah Pacheco, uh Quinton Johnson and George Pickens went right before us. Dak Prescott. Imagine having Dak Prescott as your number one quarterback. What? No. no part of that. No part of it. All right. Um. Yeah, Rashad Penny's here. Kenny Gain. I, I do think we should try and take Kenny Gainwell super late, Ryan. Like I keep finding myself. Put him in the queue. I'm not. Doing although that. I don't know. I mean, we already got three Eagles. That's fine. It's twenty rounds. You can put him in the queue. Zach Charbonnet kicking around here. Uh, I think we I, only we only have two running backs, but I like our fine. two running backs. One, Christian McCaffrey, and it's then fine. two, Damian it's Pierce, who, you know, not obviously plenty a of running pass backs catching available. role, but I think he's going to have a ton Pl- of opportunities. Yeah, plenty of plenty of guys still available. 
get we could take a guy like A Chain. Uh Brian Robinson's still out there. I don't understand why Brian Robinson's still out there. Uh, Andrew Rob if he's still in the chat. I, I mean, he's getting all the carries, right? Yeah, JD McKissick is gone. Uh so this guy goes back to back quarterbacks. Anthony Richardson, oh. Geno Smith. Oh, it's not really that vomit exciting. in my mouth. One no part of Geno Smith this year. Vomit, Mike, oh. Michael oh, Thomas. This is the vomit round. This is Michael the vomit Thomas, round. who's a little banged up. Don't worry, Ryan. He'll be fine. Oh, this is nothing good happening here. Uh, something. Good I actually might no. I about th- to happen. Zay Flowers, Kirk Cousins. He's available. Dalvin Cook being available this late. So what? 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 The case I, where, against? Where's da- he going? The case against Alvin Cook is what team does he end up on where they're going to give him a massive yeah. run, right? Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, I'm or maybe just... he's not good anymore. Like, what if he's actually washed up? Mm-hmm. Oh, Zay Flowers. Goes. Zay Flowers goes. Ryan, come on, man. Chigazima Conquo. You're so you're not worried about D Hop. Eh, but I, I, I think it's, it's one and a half point. PPR. All right. So when we made the decision to draft da- draft Dalvin or Dallas Goddard, it was yes. because correlate we, because we were stacking. Okay. This, it now makes more you sense are on the clock. It makes more sense for us to take Dalton Schultz Ugh. in that, but yeah, I don't know. Dalton Schultz, you got a rookie quarterback though. That's, I guess that's my concern. Yeah. And we're going to put him with Damian Pierce and Dalton Schultz. All right. Former cowboy Dalton Schultz, your boy. Bang. Oh, that's really sad. Oh, now you get to be sad in the you're sad in the ninth round. <laughs> Look at rounds two, three, and four. You'll be happy again. How many touchdowns did Dalton Schultz have last year, Ryan? How many catches? And then times one one point five. Fifty seven catches, five touchdowns. Perfect. He signed Man. to come in and play. I'm just I guess that there's a lot of weapons on that. Texans team that I'm slightly worried that I'm very high on this one on Dalton Schultz, huh? Yeah. He didn't do. Did, do you not remember? Your, do you not remember the top, your top 10? All right. No, I, I don't want to misspeak. Yes. He hundred percent t- top my uh, top. My Dalton Schultz was number nine. Chig mm. was 11. That phantom 11. You just, oh, maybe we'll get Chig in the next round. I've Chig's available in round 10. We're crazy not to take him. Yeah. I'm fine with that. All right. I'm also going Luke to Musgrave. Can we get him at least? I'm starring. Um, just so you know, I'm starring CJ Stroud. Mm. I'm putting Luke Musgrave, Trey McBride. <laughs> Sean, this isn't first touchdown. <laughs> All right. How, how I just the- think about guys who win me money. I get distracted. I like our team. Only two running backs. Are we concerned? I do. We got to start mean? loading up on some running backs, Ryan. Gotta establish the run here. No, I think we're doing it right. There are some good. Uh, the more I think about it, the more I think Khalil Herbert is actually the guy to take in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And that Andrew and look at all these running backs you still like here. Damian Harris, I like. Um, Khalil Herbert, I like. Who I've been kind of off on a little bit. Rashad Penny, obviously, I like. But we got enough uh, Philly. Tyler Algier, I like. Where's Patterson? Zeke. I know you're a big Zeke uh, guy, Ryan. And I know we can, it's worth rep- don't put Cordero Patterson. To what Tyler Algier is gonna Tyler Algier is their starting running back. Yeah, you don't like Oh no, Ryan. Oh no. What? Howard Bender takes Danny Dimes. No, we are I mean, the second we didn't get we're stacking our tight ends and our quarterbacks. All right. That's just what we're doing. So after Dalton Schultz, uh, Rashad Bateman goes, Samaj P. Ryan, Tyler Higby, Dalvin Cook, AJ Dillon. Danny Dimes. All right. So we got Dalton. Sh- are, we, are we going to be too invested in the Houston offense? That's kind of no. We're going to have three quarterbacks. It's just it's not okay. Yeah, we're not. C.J. Stroud goes very late. Ship chasing guys were just talking about Damian Harris. Andrew Robb said, "Yeah, maybe we got to snake him." We love. I mean. They're in well, they're because they have they have James Cook. They're trying to corner the market on running back touches there. I at some point too, it's just they're they're like they seem allergic. 
They just seem allergic to, to running back production. <laughs> it, it's a problem when you have Josh Allen. But I don't think Josh Allen is going to. Um, I, I don't think he's. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think Josh Allen is going to be running quite as much um, as he did uh, uh, near the red zone as he did last season. So there goes Dolchich. He's fun. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like there, we, we probably, probably should keep track of this, but I mean, the idea that someone is being called a joker in the spring mm. lining up all over the formation. And I I'm already seeing where our third QB running back or our third uh, team stack could be coming from. So you think, do you think we, I, I personally don't because we have, I think we can wait another round for running back. Hmm. You're I, not worried. Of only two running backs here, Ryan going into the 10th round. Uh, I mean, is there someone that you think is like, well, he's, he shouldn't be here and I'll put the, I'll put the running backs up on the screen while we're talking about it. Let's walk through the running backs right now. So this is sorted by Sky ADP. Moore goes. Charbonnet, Brian Robinson, Rashad Penny, Khalil Herbert, Jarek McKinnon, A Chain, Harris, Jamal Williams, Elijah Mitchell, Jalen Warren. Mm. Khalil Tyler Herbert, Osier. I like. I mean, I'm I'm a big I'm much higher on Warren than you, but there's a lot of names in this list I like. And I think these guys will go over the next three rounds, three to four rounds. So and there you go. The Team twelve continues to take receivers. I, I don't think we have to pull the trigger on a. Maybe okay. we go one running back. I mean, Khalil Herbert. I always say this to Bowser when we're doing starting a, running back at the Bears. I, I always say this when we're when I'm when I'm I'm drafting with Bowser. It's like you're playing running back chicken. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> Just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. Damian Harris off the board. Thanks for that inside uh, knowledge. Well, that, well that ship team, chase. Team twelve is the ship chase. Oh, guy. okay. Yeah, so they didn't go that route. They went sky more. Maybe they know Andrew Robb's listening. They're throwing him off oh, the I, scent. It's diabolical. They're fucking with you, dude. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I, I think. Are there, all right? So if we if we look at the receivers, Sean, are there any receivers that stand out to you? All right, let's flip over to the receivers. What are you looking Kadarius at? Kadarius Tony continues to fall. Jamison Williams, who's missing time, that's never good. Romeo, I D like Romeo Dubs. Dubs, Juju, Jacoby especially Myers. in basketball, because I think Romeo Dubs could have like four games where he's just awesome. Yeah, I think I think he's probably next couple rounds. Nico Collins, I like, but we 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 got enough of the Texans. I don't think we need to go complete, although. I don't think it's Alan way. Lazard's interesting. We could also take Alan Lazard and pivot to uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, yeah, that's also possible. <laughs> you just love your I, Texans. I, well, no, no. I'm just. I don't know how much I'm dying. To, but yeah, I mean the Conklin. Uh, I hope you're happy, Ryan. Oh, Chigazimo Conquo. So sorry. No, you're not. I was hoping he got back to us. <laughs> I mean, what do you, what do you, what are you hoping for uh, tonight, Ryan? I want a dick rubbed on me tonight. Uh, uh, well, I mean, I'm trying to talk about the uh, best ball draft. Oh, uh, the best balls. <laughs> Romeo Dubs goes. That's a bummer. They heard us. Someone's listening. Who's mm -hmm. giving out the information? Who's in the chat? Someone figure this out. We have a mole. Andrew Rob saying B Rob is nice here. I mean, you you seem a little nervous about the running back situation. I will say, is he not the starting running back? Like, what am I missing here? Yeah, no. I mean, I, I, I you, you can are make, up next. You can make the ca same case, I think, for Khalil now, Harbor. You but are I on think the his, clock. I think Brian Robinson's path is is yeah, I think easier, e easy fire. But right? we already have Terry McLaurin. Do we want this yeah, much I, of the Washington offense? But isn't I mean, this is where I I think. A little bit of correlation is okay. We don't need to be game. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it also opens the door. Uh, to I, well, and one before we fire, Jarek McKinnon. 
Oh no. Now no, that no, Tony's no. out, I think McKinnon could have a nice No, I think that's Rice or Moore. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause I think McKinnon is a guy they're gonna be using uh to pick up some of that goal line bullshit. Listen, that Brian Robinson we said Tony it. Is. Brian Robinson not coming off a shooting this year. All right, that's certainly helpful. Yeah. Brian Robinson is selected by us. Rashad Penny went right before. Twenty rat we're only halfway done, right? Halfway oh, done putting guys, in. Guys a are time. running the clock down like like we're going. It's going out of style. Any any takes you have here? Uh, let's see. When we swing back around. I mean, at some point, I mean, if we could, I, I, I like Jarek McKinnon. I just do. Chiefs offense over Cole Komet. Oh, over a tight end, Cole Komet. No, I was just joking. Khalil Herbert. Uh, Khalil Herbert. If you wanted to go running back, I mean, running full, back, that's how full I full point PPR. I do like McKinnon better. I think. Wait, where? What is this role you're expecting of him? Because Pacheco is healthy. Like uh, I, I'm not up to speed on the info that you got. If the, if you're, all Tony goes. Oh, I, I mean, Jarek McKinnon. Do you? I mean, his receiving touchdowns. No, no, I I know he like popped in and out, but I'm just saying, like, I do. You, are you sure he has a like a role? I mean, he had nine receiving touchdowns in the regular season. Last games, one, two, one, one, two, one. Yeah, I, and then where do you? Uh, yeah, I don't. I, again, I. It's a pass catching back. I think we'd be better off taking a receiver. Okay. Like, I mean, this is where we maybe we take like a high upside guy, like a Jamison Williams, even though he's missing time. No. No, you're completely out on that. I think if we were playing in a tournament, that's a guy you maybe roll the dice on. But I think we're only playing eleven other teams. Yeah, but it's still a guy we're not starting. We're not relying on early, and he could have a very, very high ceiling. Yeah. And we receivers their weakest position, or like we draft. We we've spent the least equity on it so far. Any uh, any tight ends. Cause it, it is, it does kind of get dicey down here. I mean, Taysom Hill, dude, we should, uh, it's best ball. We you should are up have, next. His to ADP it. is crazy. We, we don't next we don't, round. Oh yeah. We can wait on him. All right. So where are we going here then? I mean, could her, I mean, also Luke Musgrave and Kate Otten. Those are perfect. Like round yeah, we 19, can get those guys 20. Later. All right. So if I was taking a receiver, I, I definitely think I would look I'd be looking at Jacoby Myers. They signed him. He's going to be a big part of that offense. I keep now drafting. You the are on the clock. I keep, I keep drafting the crap out of him. A chain goes, but I, I, you said Herbert repeatedly. This is going to be a run first team, and I, I still don't know if he's not the guy to start the yeah, season. Yeah, let's take Herbert. His advanced uh, stuff is pretty good. I think he's worth rolling the dice here in best ball. All right, fire. Khalil Herbert. We kind of followed our plan almost to a T. Damian Pierce kind of uh, we said we were gonna go running back and then a bunch of res- pass catchers. That's kind of what we did. Let's go. All right, so we got four running backs, four receivers, two tight ends, and a and a QB. We're probably a little light on receiver. Okay. So we can fire some receiver bullets. I mean, I think uh, how many how many running backs do you think we need to end up with? Two more at least. I'd say minimum six, probably seven. So like, I think seven, 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 three, three, seven, seven, three, three, three quarterbacks, three tight ends. So if we want to go four tight ends, maybe we go six running backs, 11 pass catchers. So seven receivers, four tight ends, three. I don't know if we need a third quarterback. I think we, I, you, it's a full season thing. So you want to, you, I think you, I know we have hurts, but I I do think we may want to just grab two. It's the variance of the quarterback position that there's, let's see who's left. I mean, there's still a plenty of like, I, we could even do like a Stafford Puka Nakua or, you know, like (laughs) Jordan. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of ways we could still draft guys. Uh, Brock Brock Purdy out there. Russell Desmond Wilson Ritter. goes. Jamison Williams. Alan Lazard. How has Trey Lance not been drafted yet, Ryan? I thought I thought this was a lot of sharps. I thought in these here. were fantasy content creators. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, there's still Jared Goff still available. I mean, if oh, Jamison Williams did yeah, just did go. go. I have a feeling Goff will be gone after this round. Maybe not. A lot of positive buzz on Sam Laporta as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, but just rookie tight ends never seem to do much. We could go Jawan Johnson and Taysom Hill. That's crazy. I think we just take Taysom Hill late. It can't be too late though. Sharks swimming in the waters. <laughs> well, Taysom Hill, they, dude. They all they keep talking about is how he's going to be involved in the passing game. Andrew, more. should we have three quarterbacks or two? Three is crazy. Benedict Dantel. I don't think it's crazy. I do. It's the same. Like it going less is more of a tournament play. Pretty sure. Because you, you're 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 saying I'm right. Whereas in a seventeen thing, you want to have. Yeah, he's saying three stacked. Who? Uh, Andrew. Yeah. No naked QBs. I just think Jalen hurts his floor is so high. How many games under 20 points did he have last year? Ryan? No, no, I I'm not, I'm not suggesting that I'm just saying, no. I think, I think it's still worth taking a third quarterback. Every, I think every team's going to have, is going to try to have three quarterbacks. Huh. Craig saying Falcons fan here. I would rather have oh, Heineke start. But I I have to hope Ritter does something. Oh, stop. See, I, 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 Craig gets it. He's close ridiculous. to the situation. It's ridiculous. You're not a Falcons fan. Ryan is a Falcons fan. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm a, I'm a real fan. <laughs> Elijah Mitchell, Jarek McKinnon off the board. Sam Laporta no, goes. Uh, Boomer Juju. take. Boomer. Boomer took Smith a rookie. Schuster <laughs> goes. All right. The only rookie tight end I want to draft is Luke Musgrave. I mean. Um, You're really Trey hot. McBride. Well, Luke Musgrave because he's starting. You're taking a Jordan Love stack with Musgrave. You could do worse. You could do worse, yeah. right? I mean, again, I don't. Th we don't. We 100 percent don't need a third quarter. Jaden Reed. Ha there's some buzz going on there. I I think we disagree on the quarterbacks. Yeah. I think we have yeah a couple running backs probably good. So yeah, let's all pass catchers. We solved it. And maybe a quarterback. Do we take Kyler? Rondell Moore, Kyler, and Ertz? One. Oh. Um because that's a that's that's a quarterback that just shows up pre square later in the season. Ooh, look at that. A little Justin Fields, Cole Komet stack there. That's nice. Chat, uh, Jake saying, uh, what about Shahid and Carr to go with uh, Taysom Hill? Oh, now we're talking. I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. I, uh, Jacoby Myers, if he's sitting there, we're going to have to talk about him again. They paid him all that fucking money. Yeah, I just. Uh, Devontae the, Adams is a beast. He's going to take coverage. You don't think Jacoby Myers is going to catch a shitload of balls? Uh, maybe. I, I'm just. Yeah. Okay. I'm just skeptical of Jimmy J. Yeah, see Andrew Andrew's co signing the uh Juwan Johnson, Taysom Hill, Shahid Car stack. <laughs> I I I don't think we need Johnson and Taysom Hill. That would be electric. Just Taysom Jim, Hill. Get Jimmy Graham too, just to be safe. <laughs> Didn't you you literally just said minutes ago that you you heard that Jimmy Graham was just about him no, retiring I, I, as that, a, it was a joke. Oh, okay. We're not taking Jimmy Graham. Two tight ends is enough from the same team. I can't scroll. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll throw all the way back up. You can. Let's see which Sean, which team, which team you liking the most here? Our team, duh. All right, nice, good answer. Which team do you hate the most? Hate the most. Uh, let's see. I mean, Russell Wilson is your quarterback, not super enticing it's in the a only twelve team league. Oof. Uh Dak Prescott, not a huge fan, although he does have Chig. Does have Jonathan Taylor, who I'm high on. Uh yeah, I mean, I know I'm in the mi minority, but I, I I don't think you're gonna look back and be glad you drafted Mark Andrews in the second round. 
Ooh, spicy. No, I just spicy. I think those. I think those. Uh, those passing targets are going to get diced up. I say <laughs> likely they keep pushing him more into the offense. I don't think Mark Andrews has elite elite athleticism that's going to keep him around. So okay, Odell's still available. Yeah. No, and if I, I mean, uh oh, you're interested in Odell. Interesting. Mm, I don't know. Any any players on the top of, on the top of your list? Like we got to take them. Are we are we uh, are we building a stack here? I mean, I like I like Tyler Algier. It's a Falcon. We took two straight running backs. I think we need a pass catcher. Jalen Warren, Aaron Rodgers off the board. Rondell Moore too. Best. We just got to go BPA. Ryan, best player available. Uh, top of my board, is Jacoby Myers. Uh, I don't think he'll make it to us. These guys are chalk, all chalk. I mean, I, I probably would have taken him like, a, honestly, a round and a half ago. We started talking about him with our last pick. Ross Con John. R- I Ro, Roshan Johnson is Andrew. Andrew Robb is definitely in this draft. Now you are <laughs> on the clock. All right. Chat. Who are we taking here? I think, uh, throw it up on the screen. Top, top available. I mean, honestly, I don't hate Al- Algier. I'd rather take a receiver first, Sean. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I what 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 are your thoughts? Oh, you want that? Jacoby Myers? Draft Jacoby Myers. All right, and then I and then we might have to go Hill, or do we go Michael Mayer and and Jimmy G and hope Devontae Adams gets hurt? Well, you've been you've been talking about it that met the, the the Austin Hooper situation. Oh yeah, Austin Hooper, not Michael Mayer. Uh, we can that that I think that that will be available to us very late. Yeah, Kendra Miller. He's I'm, got massive upside. Well, I did add someone to the queue because we were talking about him earlier as a guy who's been showing out in Chiefs camp. But Rashi Rice, I know he's it's the classic get, get excited <laughs> about a young guy, but he he is looking like he might be involved. Andrew Rob throwing him out in the chat too. Don't you think Richie James is the guy to go with in a full point PPR? Uh, I I think Richie James is interesting. But I think Rice has higher. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a, I guess it's probably pretty tight. Uh, Pat Kappa in the YouTube chat wants to know why is Jacoby fallen so far, Ryan? No idea. I think it would just be the the Jimmy G foot injury scared everyone off the Raiders offense. He's the number two receiver by a mile. They paid him all the money. Yeah. I don't know why he's still there. I mean, what did the number two receiver do last year for the for the uh, Raiders? Matt Collins, he had some games. We was t- he was he the number two receiver? Yeah, and they had Hunter Renfro last year. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Who had who had more? Well, uh, I mean, Hunter Renfro runs a very specific role. I I think when you go out and you sign Myers, you're you're at you're you're getting him to do a very specific thing. Matt Collins was second uh, on the team with 57 catches, 690 yards, four touchdowns. Renfro was 36 catches, two touchdowns. Yeah. And it seems like he's pretty much uh, all but cooked. Yeah. Dusted up. <sighs> Darren Waller, 28 catches. Uh, it, Electric he, year. The coach didn't like him. <laughs> coach so, do, is so, so do we roll the dice on Hill getting back to us? Odell Beckham, Tyler Algier, Mike Gasecki, Jordan Love off the board. Do we, who you want to take? Taysom Hill. I'm saying, do we roll the oh. dice on him making it back to us? Let's see what the tight end board's looking like. Otherwise, it would be. I think. It, oh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, we yeah, got to yeah, take yeah. him. Might be time. Conklin getting some buzz uh, in New York, but I think it's time. Why would you? You are up next. Uh, why would you take Kyler there? Was that the question? No, I just. Um, yeah, I don't know. Algier went. By Kyler right. Murray off the board. Yeah, Tyler Algier gone. I'm good with Hill here. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm good. And you know, Trey McBride, the Kyler stack. I mean, Luke Musgrave, Isaiah likely still available too. 
Yeah, L- Logan Thomas to go with the Sam Howell super on uh, Washington. I don't like taking Sam Howell. No, just for the record, get out ahead of that. All right, I'm gonna Ty take. I'll, Spears. I'll take uh, Taysom Hill. It's like people don't realize he's gonna play some quarterback. How many touchdowns does he score this year? Over <laughs> under six and a half. Yeah. Uh, I yeah over. I think the right, surprising so, thing is, I think the real question is how many passes uh, does he catch? I think he's gonna get like forty catches, and he's their goal. He could get some goal line work, right? Yeah, it's best ball. I mean, it's like, it's literally the one format you can. Oh, they took take. Derek Carr. We still got. I have the. I do have the quarterback. But he, he's so comically efficient. He had nine catches last year, but for two touchdowns. He had two passing touchdowns and seven rushing touchdowns. Like, how do you not? And Uh-oh. and by all accounts, it's like, yeah, he's doing more this year. I know they paid Juwan Johnson, but I just, uh, I mean, Taysom. Uh, they're even talking. Derek Carr was talking about how his dream is to catch a pass from Taysom Hill. <laughs> like, come on. All right. So bit of a time. All right. So car went. So how many, let's look at the board, Sean, how many teams don't have two quarterbacks? All right, so no one took a quarterback before there. team one, three team, two, two team, one, one team, four team, three, one team, four, one. That's us team, five, two team, six, one, and then seven, two, eight, one, nine, two, 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 two. So I, I'm I th- I'm pretty confident with my prediction that there will be a hundred percent, like a hundred percent of the starting quarterbacks are getting drafted in this. I don't think it's like underdog where quarterbacks will go undrafted. Do we uh, thoughts on taking a Matt Stafford uh, and then Puka Nakua and Ben Scourneck? Van Jefferson probably available too. I think he got drafted. Really. Nope, he's available. Yeah, interesting. Ooh, Kenny Pickett just went. That's a fun late quarterback. Have you read anything about Matt Stafford? I saw that concerning news that he was asked to re uh, to redo his contract, and he said, "Fuck off." <laughs> <laughs> I think that just means he's getting he's fixing to retire. Like this might be the one last go, but pushing it all in, pushing all the chips to the middle of the table. We don't want to not get C.J. Stroud, right? I don't love the Texans as much as you do, but well, I mean the quarterback pool is getting pretty weak. Yeah, we only need one more quarterback. So I think you're wrong about this. No, I know. I I agree to disagree. Oh, uh, let me. I I also need to put Baker in there. Adam Thielen, Jonathan Mingo, Kenny Pickett, Zay Jones, Devin Singletary, all off the board. Oh, I like that. CJ Stroud and then a late Baker Mayfield single stack with Mike Evans. Actually, we can get one of their tight ends too. Kate Otten's interesting. Yeah. Do they finally get rid of that piece of trash, uh, Cameron Bright? <laughs> Shout out to the FFPC draft platform. You can sort by team. Very nice. So I'm assuming, obviously, Coke. Oh yeah, is we, the rookie. I forgot we have Evans. Yeah. Um, Payne Durham. Remember they drafted Payne Durham. That's a great name. Yes. Uh, Kate Otten. We could get. We could probably get Russell Gage. Hmm. I don't think we need to get crazy though. I think a Baker Mike Evans is plenty. Yeah. You're right. As a third quarterback. Yeah. After C.J. Stroud. Ugh. C.J. Stroud, Ryan, you're really. What do you mean? I just, I mean, what do you think he's going to have passing touchdowns wise? I think he's going to run a little bit. I think there's going to be some movement in the game. I think they're, they're running the San Francisco offense. Yak is going to be big Yeah. schemed up touchdowns. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I think if, if you, for Damian Pierce to hit his ceiling, I think CJ Stroud has to be pretty decent. Hmm. Matt Stafford is still see there. Damian Pierce is to me is like a volume thing for a guy who runs super hard. It's not correlated to how good hmm. CJ Stroud is. Well, the offense I think has to be good to score the touchdowns to be good yeah. enough. 
saw the news about. Uh, I mean, we, you know, Josh Jacobs led the league in rushing. They were six and eleven. Yeah, that's fair. Trey McBride they moved, goes. They, Ryan. they, they must be listening the to the show. They moved the ball though. Well, we took. We scared everyone by taking Taysom Hill, <laughs> showing them we're not messing around. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what are your thoughts next? Do we? Uh, I mean, Darnell Mooney still being available, I think, is pretty interesting. What's his? What's that deal? I kind of think there's a world where he's the number one receiver. All right. Or because over DJ Moore. I'm saying, well, DJ Moore isn't he? He's already a little banged up. He seems to have good chemistry with Darnell Mooney. Who else is on your board right now? Here, I'll bring the, I'll bring it up. What about, uh, let's see, we got, I think we got, oh, there's Kendra Miller going off the board. I think we got Raheem Mostert still available, maybe. Uh, we got, like you said, Mooney at the top of the board. Uh, Jake was throwing out uh, Donovan Peoples Jones. MVS is comically un- like I I don't really like why is MVS going later than all these other dudes? They paid him a bunch of money. He yeah. he he's the deep guy now. I mean I I think the Chiefs guys are a complete crapshoot. I'm fine having MVS. I think Richie James in a full point PPR. So you still want to just wait on him? Yeah, I, I don't know. He's more interesting to me, considering how much later you can get him. Uh, Rashi Rice goes. We were discussing him. The mole is still in here. Kenny Gainwell, I like. Oh wow, really? But yeah, you know, we Should've. we do have three eagles. Water's wet. <laughs> I like I like Gainwell too. Zamir White's interesting. I know he's a little I don't think we have to take him here, but mm. the Josh Jacobs thing, depending on how much if they end up shipping him out. I think we absolutely can afford to take him later, especially if Jimmy G is one of our quarterbacks. I mean, am I am I am I missing him on the screen? Here we go. It is he just ranked super low? Yeah. Wow. Why is Raheem Mostert so low in here? Because hmm. of A Chain and Wilson. Like Wilson's already been Wilson went already last round. Marvin Mims, he's fun. So what do we have six picks left? Seven. Picks. Yeah. 14, 15, 16, 17, yeah, 18, picks. 19, 20. Seven. Yeah, Van Jefferson. You could do Van Jefferson, Pua Nakua. If we, went, Nick. if we went Van Jefferson, oh, there goes Stafford. Oh, well, then there goes that. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think we might need to. Bryce Young goes. Might need to take another quarterback now. You got Taysom Hill. You are up next. Unfortunately, does not possess the uh, position flexibility. Who else would we take? Mooney. You want to just buy the dip on Mooney? He's kind of interesting. Now you, you are they, on the clock. They end up throwing more. Brock Purdy goes. You sure you don't want to take C.J. Stroud? Sure, go for it. Or you want to take Mooney? I mean. I I only want to take two quarterbacks, but if you want to take CJ Stroud, like if we take CJ Stroud, who's our third quarterback then? It's either a, it's a it's either a Myers, uh, uh, Jimmy G stack or it's a a Baker stack. That's what I mean. It's like a low low cost, like last very end of the round. Uh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, CJ Stroud, Mooney. All right, Mooney Darnell first. Mooney. Roll the dice. Yeah, I just, I think we're going to be starting Hertz. I think, okay, so Hertz won't start him on the bye week, and I think there's maybe like three to four other weeks we don't start him. I just th- that third quarterback to me seems slightly overkill, but yeah, but we're normally not drafting twenty teams. Twenty rounds, you mean? Twenty rounds, yeah. I think we're going to want. I think we I think we get a cheap late 
last round stack? Jimmy G or Baker? Although I well, could I could be talked into to grabbing Gainwell here. <laughs> I just look at the, the 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 teams of three quarterbacks and it's I don't know, it just seems suboptimal. Like I like the guys, Patrick uh, Mahomes, Kyler Murray, quarterback situation. Uh, you could talk me into that. Sean Watson naked. We all like that. <laughs> Joe Burrow and Bryce Young. That's not horrible. I mean, that's essentially what I'm pitching to you. Is we'll get Joe Burrow and Bryce Young. Yeah, we'll we go have... Jalen Hurts and and C.J. Stroud. Yeah, and that's good. And then maybe we add a last stack if if there's not someone out there that's worth taking. Mm. So you think CJ Stroud's going to get more fantasy points than Baker Mayfield this year? I'm high on the offense. I'm higher on I'm high on his ability to move the ball. All right. I think that offense is designed to help quarterbacks and I think specifically it's the system that he like it's a lot of the same stuff that they ran in college. And I mean obviously he might not be good. Yeah. But I guess my problem I think he's 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 the most set up to succeed of the rookies. Now, if you want to argue like who's going to have more, like in a weird way, I'd, 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 I could almost say like Jimmy G probably has a higher floor as long as he's healthy, but even he's like, these guys are all trash at this point. I just think CJ Stroud for the team we've built makes the most sense. Yeah. I guess for me, Baker, you know, throwing to Mike Evans for three touchdowns and beating out Jalen hurts. I could see that happening before. I can see CJ Stroud throwing. Well, yeah, but you, this is where you just can't like, yeah, obviously if Jalen hurts, isn't scoring for us, it's not great, but it's a 20, like 19th round insurance around not having a zero at the quarterback position because you have a guy on by and a guy hurt. It's true. I, I, again, I think it's a full season nut. So it's like, you don't want to give up 25 points. If you only have to give up 12. And again, down there, like the quarterback, definitely more valuable than some, some random receiver. Yeah. That, that like some of these guys, I would say definitely more valuable and almost to the point where I I'd be interested in taking a positional player here and not in, in passing on passing on quarterback again. I mean, how many teams already have three? Yeah. Are we safe? Like how is no one? How is uh? All right, team one has three. None of these fantasy wonks taking uh, Trey Lance. <laughs> team five has Imagine three. Imagine going undrafted in a twenty round best team ball. Team seven has three. <laughs> three teams have three. Yeah. Oh, Kenny Gainwell goes. Very sorry, Sean. All right, all right. Take your CJ Stroud run. Uh, I'm I'm actually like. Raheem Mostert's very interesting to me here too. Well, how many running backs do we have? But yeah, we need a quarterback. I'm taking my seat. Do we need a quarterback? Yeah. All right. I don't really want to end up with Baker as a backup and then he's just not starting because he sucks. I just think CJ Stroud's playing the whole year too. Davis Mills that is, sucks. That does help. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That he he's likely to play the entire Wait, season. A lot of these other guys have. Wait, what's he, what are the Texans bye week? Uh, seven. I was that was off memory. I could be wrong. I think they're in the one of the bulky weeks though. Mike Rob pointing out Jets also ran the 49ers offense. Without the talent, doesn't work. So Texans have no shot to be respectable on offense. Oh, Mike, don't don't let Kramer hear that. Next next will be disparaging his Atlanta Falcons. I had some guys putting up fantasy points last year with shitty quarterbacks. What are you talking about? Who? The Jets. I mean, I'm just. I, mean, I was Flacco. Reading, I was Flacco was one comment. of the top. Flacco was one of the forty point. What are you? <laughs> Flacco put up forty points last year. Joe Flacco. Let's uh, let's make sure we're checking these comments before you just put them on the air. No, I I read the comments. <laughs> I don't I don't speak for their veracity, Ryan. We do only have five receivers. But we have three tight ends. receivers. All right, you got to call them pass catchers in FFPC. Well, when you have the one and a half point point per reception, it does bring a lot more guys into the pool. I mean, again, think about it, Sean. Four catches is six points. It's like six catches for a receiver. It's true. Big difference. Yeah, no, seriously. 
And then what is it? What is a uh, what is the position starting? It's one quarterback. What? Two running backs, two receivers, a tight end, and two flex. So yeah. that's the other. Again, you don't. It doesn't have to be. So out of our eight pass catchers, we need to have four guys starting probably to be optimal. Yeah. Leonard Fournette's still available. There goes Jerome Ford. We were gonna have to. I I, I don't understand why Raheem. I mean, there's no way he makes it back to us. But Raheem Mostert, if he does make it back, we're playing auto play. Yeah, I like Mostert. He's. I mean, Cordero Patterson too. He's playing receiver. He's playing receiver, and he's listed as a running back. <laughs> we will, and he plays on the Falcons. What do you think about taking Deontay Foreman to pair with Herbert and take two out of the three? Bears offense. Yeah. Eh. I mean, Mostert has some spike weeks. 18 oh, uh, for yeah, 113, absolutely. 17 for 136. He's got some delicious spike weeks. Only three rushing touchdowns last year. Hmm. Two receiving, though. I, uh, I queued up some more guys that I think we should, should be eyeing up. At what point do you take MVS, though, just because he plays like. I know we're going to just continue to have the Richie James. At what point do we take either of those guys? Yeah. All right. So let's, uh, let's look at the board. Cause we have, what do we have? Five picks left. Okay. There goes Raheem Mostert. five picks left. We're currently sitting on Jalen hurt, CJ Stroud, two quarterbacks, Christian McCaffrey, Damian Pierce, Brian Robertson, Khalil Herbert, four running backs, Devonta Smith, Terry McLaurin, Mike Evans, Gabe Davis, J- Jacoby Myers, Darnell Mooney, sorry, six receivers now. And then Dallas Goddard, Dalton Schultz, Taysom Hill, three tight ends, three white guy, tight ends. That, that was unintentional. <laughs> We're running the uh, 13 personnel. Sam Howell goes, wow. Good thing. We uh, took CJ Stroud. All right, so what what's the um Fournette goes, Alec Pierce goes, who uh what's next? It's gotta be a receiver. For us? I think so. Yeah, how many We have we now have nine we have six receivers, three tight ends. Okay. We only have four running backs. Yeah, I feel like we need a couple we have five guys left. We probably need what? One quarterback, two running backs, two receivers? Yeah, I mean, I think I think we want to get to six or six running backs, so we probably need a couple. Yeah, two running backs, two receivers. Sorry, pass catchers. Mm, come on, one Weapon, quarterback. Weapons. I'm putting guys in the queue that I think we should take. <laughs> Marvin Mims still available, Ryan. Yeah, I saw that. I thought they added him. Have you not talked me into Gus Edwards yet? <laughs> I mean, we can have that conversation. He's healthy. You want to keep going? Yeah, yeah. Devontae Parker? <laughs> no, I, I think I think there's a couple running backs I want to take here. One of them's named Cordell Patterson. He's we're playing receiver, Sean. Samir White. I think we take two running backs here. Samir White went. Fuck. Damn it. Fuck. That was my one of my suggestions. Gus Edwards, you son of a bitch. All right, can I take Cordero Patterson? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Boom. No need to waste clock on that one. Just an elite. Pass catcher and a running back, all in one. Yeah. Craig Dorch. You just want to load up on some short pass catchers. Robert Woods. No, we have too many Texans. Do we take Malik Davis as an ultimate uh, fade on the Cowboys? Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Then it would involve having a Cowboy on our team. I don't. But it's kind why, of a why fade. is no one why is no one drafting Van Jefferson? I don't know. 
I don't know. He's not someone. I, mean, I guess we don't have a nope. stat. Van Jefferson oh, goes. Wow, nice job, Sean. They are definitely. Li- you're <laughs> testing them, and they're repeatedly failing the test. Isaiah Likely. It's mm. an interesting pick at this point. Yeah. High upside. Massive upside, and he's a guy. I mean, look what he did as a rookie. All right, chat's not giving us any picks. Well, I, I don't know if we take likely and Musgrave. So no, no, that's fine. I think I do like getting one more tight end in there, though. Any of the, I mean, any of the receivers you like? People they're hating on DJ Chark, Marvin and Mims. I mean, I know we keep talking about them, but any of the running backs? We have five. Pro, do we take Chase Brown and as Mick like if Mixon goes down, could be a big workload. Uh, Pierre Strong, Michael uh, Carter, Josh Kelly. Why are we not taking Michael Carter? Because we kind of because Israel Bonaconda's there. Dalvin Cook might be there. Yeah, there and there goes Isaiah. Michael Carter kind of fits that post type sleeper. So what do you think? Do we take our last tight end here? Ooh, all right. Or I guess we could take yeah, Kate. take Luke Musgrave. He's gonna get some tight. He's gonna get some touchdowns. You Dude, are up their, next. He's their number one tight end. You're getting a starting tight end in the tight end premium league. Dude, super athletic. Let it rip. Would you like to add? Now anything? you are on the clock. Hunter Renfro goes. Hunter Henry. Isaiah Likely. Luke Musgrave. There we go. Now we're talking. Beavers. All right. So are we going to draft Baker in the last round? Hmm. I mean, the Baker Mike Evans stack. Are we good with four tight ends? I think so. I mean, we could start three theoretically. That's a good rotation of tight ends. I mean, Austin Hooper's still there. If we want to do the Jimmy G thing. No, no, I think I to mm. Parham's probably too deep. Hmm? Is he? I I think Ertz. We, I think we still need at least one more running. I mean, back. Ertz if he plays is interesting. Yeah, McBride's probably the guy yeah. though. Any other running backs left? Because we we have reached a. Uh, is it generic Prince? He he's was flashing for the Chiefs. Uh, C eight. No, I, I'm just kidding. Ronald Jones on the Sean Tucker. Right? Let's. You want to talk about uh, what? If, what if we did a Sean Tucker, and then Baker Mayfield, a little buck sauce. Sean Tucker was, is projected to be the backup behind a guy that a lot of people think is going to fail in Rashad White. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on this? Some people are. I I, I shouldn't say backup because Chase Edmonds is there. Maybe it's riskier than that. But some people have called uh, Chase. Or uh, Sean Tucker, a uh, baby Derrick Henry. <laughs> Sean Tucker claims he's cleared for takeoff. Rookie running back teases roster status update. I mean, give me a running back. We we need more I mean, running he's, backs. He's so undrafted, who? but he's a. He, oh wait, he's the kid from Syracuse. Yeah, I could you could talk me into Sean Tucker here. I mean, uh, Israel Abanconda is pretty. Abanconda. We could we could probably wait. Chase Brown is falling at this point. I'd say it's it, it's safe to say he's sliding down okay. the boards. C E H. Do we want no pardon of him? Is it no. just because I'd rather have that Prince dude? I was just saying that he he apparently was having a great spring. I mm. I don't know if I'm looking to go either guy though. Uh, Tyler saying, has anyone taken, uh, taken tank yet? Yeah. Tank's gone. Um, let's see. Pat Kappa pointed out Dorch 12th round tank. Big Dorch is good for a good, uh, week or two. Yeah. But you'd rather have Richie James than Dorch. It's true. Let's just take Richie James next. What other receivers do you like? And if I was taking a Cardinal, it's Michael Wilson, not Dorch. Hmm. Terrace Marshall, good off season, a lot of lot of chatter there. Um, we could add another Washington commander with Curtis Samuel, a guy that always finds his way into the offense. Darius Slayton, my guy. 
Dan Jones's guy, best ball guy. That's actually the. He's a big play guy, Sean. Mm. Big play guy. We could add Tank Dell to the Houston stack. Just keep on stacking on stacking. Yeah, we got enough Houston. Mac Hollins, late pick. What about Denzel Mims? Flashing for Detroit early. You don't sound too excited about that. Miko Hardman. Finally, finally, a good match here with Aaron Rodgers. No. <laughs> yeah, you almost had me, but no. Richie James is the play. Is it? Over. Yes. Over who? Terrace Marshall? Over Darius Slayton? There goes Chase Brown. Uh, full zero RB. Over I mean, here. Richie James plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. I think he's a guy that Andy Reid can rely on to catch the ball. Well, I, I yeah, he's a try. I, I said this early in the offseason. He's a trust guy. Yeah, he gets open. Fifty-seven catches last year. Gets so he got open, earned yeah. targets. I I think he's gonna actually. Low, think, high floor, low ceiling. That's that's the answer. Yeah, but I think he's a guy that, like, he'll have a eight nine point week when we need it. You know. No, I I don't. I mean, it, probably not the best thing if he's scoring, but he's definitely gonna. He, he's really good at sitting down in the zone. Uh, the the Chiefs run a lot of weird stuff around the line of scrimmage. Yeah. He's gonna th he's gonna. Can thrive. you imagine him being one of those guys when they all hold hands and do ring around the rosy yeah. and then oh, bust yeah. out? And oh yeah. Pierre Strong goes. That's not a bad pick. Yeah, I, I mean, I like Pierre Strong. I like Sean Tucker. Sean Tucker's talking to me though, Ryan. Yeah, just me bringing it up like that. That was a no. It was a good, deep, good suggestion. Deep right? dark pull. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I would say, right now, there's a couple other guys on the board that I probably like more. Hmm. Zach Evans. We didn't discuss that one. If it's not Cam Akers. Sounds like it's going to be Zach Evans. I saw the chat. Um, who threw it out there? It might probably Andrew Rob, but maybe maybe not. Um, the running back for Baltimore. Oh, now I'm blanking on his name. Keaton Mitchell. Yeah, it was Jake threw that out there. Yeah. I don't know. J.K. Dobbins just seems like he's always going to be hurt, right? Yeah. Is he ever not going to be hurt? I'd be surprised. Uh, I, Ty Chandler, you know Alexander Madison. We're we're pretty late in a draft. Madison is the only running back on Minnesota that's been taken. Dwayne McBride and Ty Chandler both out there. I don't know if if you have an opinion there. A versus B. Yeah, that one's tough because it seems like yeah, it's tough to determine who who would be that second guy. Oh, someone's throwing out Deuce Vaughn. They must be new to the show. <laughs> so you don't necessarily have a take on which one of these running backs. Michael Carter goes. Michael Carter. Do you have a do you have a, a, a like which team would you want to buy the running game for? See, Sean Tucker scares me because they just couldn't fucking run the ball. Yeah. I mean, Israel uh Abanaconda there is the go. guy I would get. Really? Yeah. Over the Chargers? You're not you're not looking to get Josh Kelly? Yeah. No. Josh Kelly, we know what Josh Kelly is. Well then if that's the case. He wasn't I, on the Zoom call, Ryan. Just keep waiting on these guys then. I don't think Abanaconda is going anytime soon. Ooh, I don't know about that. Actually, no. I would say I, I would go Ty, Ty Chandler next. Really? If we're being honest. I no, I'd go Josh Kelly, Zach Evans, and then probably Ty Chandler. Wait, did Ty Chandler to go? Oh, there goes Israel. Look at you. Looking <laughs> like a shark. Ah, oh, come on. I told you. Oh, he's not gonna go. Mm -hmm. Goes right in front of us. Ty Chandler is listed uh second on now, the depth chart. You are on the clock. For the Vikings, whatever that means. I want to take Darius Slayton here. All right. This is ridiculous. <laughs> he's their number one receiver. He's the starting Ferrari. I mean, I got to bring up that Ferrari quote. Bring it up, bitch. 
Giants, Ferraris. You like Puka Nakua or Richie James better? <clears throat> no opinion, huh? I'm just reading the quote on um, Giants. Tannehill goes. New York Giants set to unleash Ferraris against opponents. That's what I'm talking about. Is that is Darius Slayton the first uh, pass catcher besides Darren Waller? To be drafted? No, I'm I'm assuming Hodgins and maybe Paris Campbell. Yeah, Paris oh, okay. Hodgins went 16, Paris Campbell 17. Oh, and someone probably chalked themselves in the Jalen Hyatt. Yeah, I see Jalen Hyatt go. And Wendell Robinson already went. So Darius Slayton was the fifth receiver. <laughs> They're they, he's best friends with this guy. What are we doing next, Ryan? Do we need any more running backs? Probably not. Right. We have five. We we do only have five. Wait. I mean, I I'd like the Sean Tucker angle. Oh, but no, we take Richie James and then Baker. Call it a day. Just roll it on running backs. Feel good about our five. Well, I mean, one of ours is Christian McCaffrey. If he gets hurt, we're probably not gonna win. So Wow. Throwing negative energy out there already. No, I told you he's not gonna get hurt this season. I already announced whether or not Christian McCaffrey would get hurt. It's unbelievable. So we're we're we are going Baker. Do we take another Tampa receiver then? What is there even available? I mean, Ga- Russell Gage. He's available. I would assume. I've read nothing about him this off season. Perfect. Is that good or bad? Oh, we could do Kate Otten. Russell Gage is listed as a starter. Yeah, he's a, Kate he's Otten's a, already been drafted. Really? Yeah. I mean, he had five touchdowns last year. I get, I get the the offense is not going to be as good with Tom Brady supposedly, but yeah, why don't we take Russell Gage and uh, Baker? I, there's a couple other teams it looks like with only five backs, so we're not the only teams, but we'll see. Sean Tucker got drafted. Wow. Oh, did I miss it? Oh no, he we just got drafted. All right. <laughs> What are we doing here? Are we we taking the quarterback first? Or are we taking the receiver first? Do you want to do receiver? You keep talking. No, I think we if we if we want to lock that stack up, I think we lock the stack up. Okay. If we want to take a running back, I think it's it's Kelly or Chandler. Ty Chandler. But I'm okay. Rolling the dice. Oh, we also need Richie James, though. Do you think he lasts if we don't take him here? No. I think we go Richie James and Baker. All right. I don't think anyone's taking any more quarterbacks. The Baker Evans stack is enough. Yeah, no, I. we don't need to go too hard into it. Donald Parham will go undrafted. Sad day. Thirty-two team previews. Ryan, who's up? Uh, who's up next? Who's up next? I I want to say it, we're we're talking so Rams, Rams and the Colts, tomorrow, and then we're talking. Oh, the Colts is going to be a bad one. I'm I I, I don't want to be too negative, but Ooh. Cleve Ta had some great uh, <sighs> points on the Colts, Ryan. I do think, and maybe it's just a fantasy thing, but I do think that. That uh, Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor, read option is gonna give teams uh, some trouble. Okay, predicting that he's got to be able to throw the ball. Mm, not necessarily. You, see, that I, I think you're not the only person who feels that way, and I, I don't think that's. Gonna I, be I mean, are we talking fantasy or what are we talking? I think we're talking both. Okay. I mean, you think he's gonna be starting week one? You look at, um, I mean, sh- Anthony Richardson. I'd be shocked if he doesn't start week one. Well, as you said, no more quarterbacks are getting taken. Tannehill and Jimmy G off the board. Mm. All right, so are we taking Richie James? Yeah. All right. Now you are on the clock. They were old teammates, Darius Slayton and Richie James, sitting next to each other. Go Ferraris parked in the same garage. Oh yeah. I like this because we don't have to go Baker. No, that's true. 
It does seem like running back is probably, probably here, here you go. Anthony Richardson nugget since 2010 among first round quarterbacks who started at least nine games, their rookie season, four of the top five best rookie EPA seasons came from quarterbacks who use their legs a lot. Dak RG three Russ cam. Okay. I like that nugget. What are those? I mean, Dak Russ. Like all those guys could pass. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we watched, don't be that guy. You watch college football. Yeah. And our 15 was a mess. Don't get excited. Cause he hit the ball in the net and <laughs> OTAs. No, I I'm excited. Cause I think it's going to create awesome holes for Jonathan Taylor and really easy play action stuff for him. So hot offense. take the hot take that what that Anthony Richardson's not going to be horrible. Yeah. I mean, I think also when you're looking at that Colts team, we'll get into it in the Colts preview, but not having Jeff Saturday coach your team. You think it's an upgrade? (laughs) I mean, I was going over my head. Who is the worst NFL coach of all time? I I think because of Urban Meyer. uh, Urban Meyer won three games, (laughs) right? Jeff Sat yeah, sure. But that's almost Jeff like Saturday court, also court lo- gave up the greatest comeback of all time. That's true. That's true. Even the micro stuff looks bad. Thirty second in point differential in his ta- tenure. And they still considered to hire him. That's how that's how fucking whacked out of his mind Ursa is. Did they need the extra two rounds for this thing? Probably not. No. Not on a twelve uh person league. Oh, we're expiring. It's getting hot in here. All right. Oh, even the uh, even Team Twelve got to six running backs. Ryan for the uh, Patreon contest this weekend, uh, yes, giving away sir. a SGP mini helmet. So perfect chance to go. Sportsgamingpodcast dot com slash Patreon. Am I going to do baseball? Oh. Are we going to do WNBA? Oh. What do you want to do, Ryan? You're I don't, the, I don't it's know. Your idea. Oh wow! Look at you, just. Accountability spelled with two C. Ah, uh, I mean, can you, I guess you have to do baseball. Do you do a? Do you do something with the w- women's World Cup? Do they have contests I'm, for the world women's World Cup? I'm, that's a, that's a question for someone else. I mean, if you're if you're putting if you're putting the gun to my head, I would say we we WNBA sounds better than baseball. Come at me. Hmm. Who do you think they're saying right now won the draft? Me. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Our team. Plus fourteen hundred. Dogs for a reason. Big dogs. Cash. Cole Turner. Cole Turner, Noah Gray, Khalil Shakir, uh, Joshua Davis, Corey, or sorry, Joshua Kelly, Corey Davis. Did Corey Davis have a team? I thought the Jets got rid of him. Or where did he end Is up? That an auto draft? Like it, it's a Jets thing because I think. Does he, does this guy have Rogers? No, he has Israel. No. I don't know what that is. Some of these people draft, like they don't know what they're doing. All right. Who's uh? Oh, who, no, he still is on the jets. I don't get that. I don't think he's going to play a ton. Oh, wow. More running backs. For Keontae the- Ingram, Dwayne McBride, Ryan, Florida. That's a state you wake up. Feeling dangerous. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Bring some energy. I like that we got Taysom Hill. Yeah, good for the team, Mojo. Like that we have a Texans. It's a stack. great quarterback room. CJ, do they let Taysom Hill in the quarterback room? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if they let Baker in though. We draft him. May yeah. may throw things off kilter. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, they. You know. Self scouting, we probably are a, a, a half step behind in the receiver category, but I, that's fine. We have two two tight ends that are going to score for us every week. Every week. All right, last round, Sean. Last round, we did it. Let's go, Curtis Samuel off the board. I'll collect the plus fourteen hundred in uh, FFPC credits. That, that works. <laughs> we do win a main event entry, and again, uh, it, when we win, myffpc.com. Uh, use that promo code SGPN. Free twenty five dollars uh, on your first deposit. There, they have a ton of tournaments, including the main event, drafting live in person out in Las Vegas. Maybe you'll go head to head with Ryan 
real money, Kramer. Well, there still are spots in the bare knuckle if you're not uh, terrified of a challenge. Now, what's the bare knuckle? Walk us through. Obviously, bare, oh, uh, yeah. Give us the whole breakdown. Prizes. What do you got in the bare knuckle? Uh, it's just one of these. It's a twelve teamer. Uh, it's twenty eight rounds because there's kickers and defenses. <laughs> which is really annoying. I, I it w- wouldn't hurt him to get that out of there. But the gimmick in the league is that you uh, no notes. No, nothing. And is it just a uh, tournament format? No, just a 12 team league. Just a 12 team league. Yeah, just a 12 team league. Manage league. No, best ball. Okay. Yeah, it's best ball. Oh, come on. Trey Lance has been drafted. Oh, Ryan. wow. Do we applaud? Mike White got drafted. Oh, my God. Mike White? That's interesting. I, I guess if you're in my. Scroll up, Ryan. What other quarterbacks do they have? Let's see. Mike White, Daniel Jones, oh, Tua. Is that the it's Howard that's, Bender? That's the Boomer team. So he he he, he got a little Tua insurance. He took in high. He's not there. paying attention. He's not paying attention. <laughs> All right, thousand dollar entry fee for the bare knuckle entry fee. Uh, dr- your draft slot. You find out five minutes before the draft. The slot. How's the slot? Twenty eight rounds, sixty second timer, snake draft. Um, it's seventeen weeks, so similar scoring to this. And uh, no head to head, no playoffs, just total points for the year. So it's best ball, same, same format. Everything's the same. Why we have to do kickers and defenses. But yeah, I mean that the, the, the kicker is you, uh, yeah, you don't want to, you, you get no notes. So do you draft two kickers or no three, you draft three kickers. Yeah. 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 You, you don't want to get a zero. Okay. It's really right. stupid. Yeah, it's really stupid too because they cut them like Swiss cheese now. Yeah, that's true. But uh, yeah, so no cheat sheets, laptops, no, it's nothing, just the board. Okay, what, but you, you get to see who people have drafted. There's a draft board in front of you. That's yeah. all that anyone. But no use. players. No, like the play as they get drafted, they're they're. But put there on. isn't a big. There list isn't like the a list of yeah. who's remaining, unless uh, I mean there is in my head. That's why they call it bare knuckles. Hey, thanks for everyone hanging out. Uh, YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Uh, Pat Kappa wanting to know oh. did anyone take Zeke, Ryan? No. No, breaking news. Oh, uh, well, well done, pros and Joes. Malik Davis has been taken. We we're about to Jordan draft. Mason. We're drafting two hundred and four left, Ryan. We're drafting this Draft is now. You are on the clock. We're drafting four, uh, 240 players. And Trey Lance last round. Zeke is not drafted. <laughs> Zeke undrafted. Wow, that's great. I mean, I'm surprised no one took a shot on Zeke. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, honestly, like, the, I think what's surprising to me is that. Uh, I guess actually most of the handcuffs went. A lot of the running backs are gone, so I guess I there's not not really anyone. Supp- Dwayne McBride or Zeke Elliott. I'm going Dwayne McBride. Jordan Mason. I mean Pierre Strong or Zeke Elliott. Jordan Mason's third string on the Niners. Like the <laughs> Dolphins had three running backs go. I well, at least but we took Cordero <laughs> Patterson, who yeah has like a pass catching role. Yeah, that's why I like him too. Nice Richie thing. James went. Well, that's of course us. to us. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, you got tricked. I didn't. No, I'm reading the comments. I'm interacting. Oh, okay. Got right. it. Got it. Shout out Steffi Small oh, Show checking wow. in on uh, the YouTube chat. It's a pretty gross team, Steffi. We went to Eagles. And then Waller got sniped. Really horrible. Ryan, we're hit. Who knew this was going to take two hours? I didn't. Oh, I told know. you it was going to take three, two hours. You I said, didn't oh, say that. I did. No, you didn't. I did. did. Well, one ear in ear out, out the other. Greg Dorch goes like I was. I was advocating for Dorch run. <sighs> Zeke still has a chance to get drafted. Two, Two more left. spots left in the YouTube chat. Will, will, uh, will he get drafted? Mm. No. Why would you take Zeke? They took his mural off the wall in <laughs> Dallas. He's no longer a member of the community. Do we know? Is he hungry, Ryan? Hungry for opportunity? I think maybe. I think maybe he's been over uh, overdosing on mm. that uh, soup kitchen soup. All he can eat, you know. <laughs> uh, again, you're taking all the clock in the last round. Reminder: uh, Sign up for the Circa Million oh, Circus yeah. Survivor, fourteen million dollars in guaranteed prizes. CircusSports.com for all the details. Daniel Bellinger goes, and then Isaiah Spiller closes it out. All right, PZ. No Zeke Elliott. Hey, sports gaming podcast.com slash Patreon. Join the fight.
against corporate gambling. Kramer, we'll be back tomorrow. Two yes. episodes. Colts preview, Rams preview. Let's fucking go. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the money green. He's Ryan. And uh, we apologize. Uh, Zeke Elliott did actually get drafted in the 16th round. Oh, very, very Ryan. I, I apologize. Kramer, let it ride.